amount of volume expansion in sepsis, the amount of fluid to administer in any given patient in circulatory shock is not easily determined. In sepsis and septic shock, guidelines continue to support an initial bolus of 30 ml kg body weight. However, this recommendation is not based on rigorous evidence. Excessive fluid administration increases the risk of respiratory distress and acute lung injury, and increases intra-abdominal pressure and cerebral edema. An increasingly robust body of literature has demonstrated that a positive fluid balance in septic shock is an independent predictor of mortality. Additional consideration to fluid administration should be given to patients with known derangements of cardiac or kidney function. These considerations support assessing for fluid responsiveness after early boluses, attention to overall fluid balance throughout a patient's stay, and early use of vasopressors when hypotension persists despite volume expansion in sepsis. Thank you.